your hometown anchor team. Live from Manager Bay, ABC Columbia News at 11. Good evening, everybody. We are live from Manager Bay tonight. I'm Shannon Harris. And I'm Daniel Siemens. We begin tonight with a proposed change to the state's DUI laws, and lawmakers plan to tackle it tomorrow. And here's why. Some may want change. According to Mothers Against Drunk Driving, our state, state ranks second among uh, the worst in the country for DUI deaths. A new tougher bill includes a peer penalty system based on a driver's blood alcohol level, also increasing the mandatory suspension of someone's license who refuses a breathalyzer test from six months to one year. In addition, an amendment is being considered that would require offenders to install a lock on the ignition that would require passing a breathalyzer to start the car. And tonight we asked folks if they think these look if they, if they think these locks rather would keep people from drunk driving. Well, I like the idea about the safety of it, but I'm just not sure that it's the government's job to regulate that. You have technical difficulties with it, and you won't be able to drive even when you're sober. Well, I kind of think that it would be a waste of time and money due to the fact that if you're mature and responsible enough, you shouldn't drink and drive in the first place. Well, a Senate subcommittee is set to vote on that legislation tomorrow. He was arrested last week for